share of them and going to have some more. We're all going to have them. But this recitation I recorded and I didn't notice how many people's lives it touched, even my life. And I probably won't do it like I originally recorded it. But the Lord put this on my heart here last week. This is the first time I've ever done this recitation in front of anybody. So I want y'all to pray. And someone needs to hear this today. And maybe it could be me. But I want you to listen. This is a true story that happened. How many of you uh, ever raised a garden? That's good. That's good. To me, besides the closet, that's another great place there to meditate. In the Lord there talk to the Lord. That's what I like doing. But just listen to this recitation. This is a true story. One day while out in the garden, been going through some trials and tribulations. Lost my dad just everything going wrong. Done some things I shouldn't have done. Just down and out, broken hearted. But while I was standing out there in the garden, my neighbor come up and was talking to my neighbor. We were standing there talking about the Lord. And all of a sudden, something brushed me on my shoulder. Well, I didn't know what it was. I just reached over and brushed the dog. I thought it may have been a wasp or a bee or something like that. And when I brushed it off my shoulder, I looked down to see where it went. It's a little baby bird. Prettiest thing you ever seen. And I asked my neighbor, I said, Lord, I said, you reckon it's all right? Because I was worried, I prayed I, I killed it. So as I looked down at that little bird, he looked up at me, and I was looking at him. My, my, what a pretty bird. So as I reached down to try to grab it, it flew off just a little ways from it. So I walked over to it and it looked at me and I looked back at him. It's the same thing. Flew off a little ways farther and landed on my vehicle. So I walked over to it and it's the same thing, same thing. He looked at me and I looked at him. And I got to thinking. All the trials and tribulations that I went through. But as that bird just kept, it wouldn't fly off, it just kept coming back, coming back, and that's what's gone. I got to think about everything I went through, worried to death, talking to the Lord. We all mess up. We want to mess up. There's none of us here perfect. But as soon as that bird, as I looked down at that bird, a little still voice, spoke to me and said, everything's going to be okay. And I thank God for that. You know, God's little angels. God sends angels to us that we're unaware. Of. It could be anything. But I needed that. And I was so down and out. And I know I messed up and sinned against God. But sometimes the Lord has to bring us down to the bottom in order to pick us back up. But I thank God for that little baby bird that told me that everything's going to be all right. And if you're here today lost without the Lord's Savior, Jesus Christ, folks, I'm telling you, the Spirit of God's here because I can feel it. If you're here today lost and undone without Christ, won't you open up your heart and let him in? Just try it. Give him a try. Someone here needed to hear this presentation. There's a reason for everything. I don't understand, but I need to obey the Lord. But this is the first time I've ever done this in front of anybody. But I thank God for saving this old boy. The road I was on was a road of destruction. But he's never failed me. Be patient. Wait upon the Lord. And if you sin against the Lord, have an advocate to the Father. He'll forgive you. If you're here today and you're lost and don't know the Lord, this might be your last chance. We don't know. We're here today and gone tomorrow. But 
But John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever believeth on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And I hope and pray this has touched somebody's heart today because it just touched mine. Maybe it was meant for me. God bless you. Good time here today. Let's give God another clap of praise. God bless you. We love you.